Hey, what's up everybody? Jake here and welcome to the hobby. There are going to be some big rarity changes with the upcoming Scarlet and Violet base set. Some of these changes include just making it a lot more crystal clear what kind of rarity the card that you just pull is and that really does help you because in the past we've had pretty much three level of rarities which is common, uncommon, and then rare. And then if you pull an ultra rare, the star card can sometimes be silver, but it's pretty much all considered a rare card, which is not super helpful considering some cards are definitely more hard to pull than other. So with the new rarity changes, it'll make this a lot more clear. However, I think a lot of people missed out on some changes with the upcoming Scarlet and Violet set that I think is going to be extremely controversial, especially if you are a Pokemon card collector. So I'm definitely gonna dig into that just so you are aware of where the Pokemon company is headed with the upcoming Scarlet and Violet generation. The first big change is with the rarity symbol. We've always had a black star to signify a rare Pokemon card and that is going to stay, but we are also going to get double black stars to signify your basic ultra rare EX, V, and GX type cards. And we are going to get a double white star to signify some of the full art trainer cards and full art Pokemon cards. Beyond that, we are also going to get a brand new gold star cards to signify some of the more basic secret rare cards. We are also going to get double gold star to signify the most rare cards inside of these upcoming sets. Now I am all for all of these rarity symbol changes, which really helps identify the rarity of the cards and to showcase the difference in the pull rates as things get significantly more rare, exactly what you pulled. Because a lot of time people will pull a Pokemon card and they say, hey, is this a good card? I'm not even sure, how rare is it? Did I pull something good is what a lot of people will ask. And sometimes it can be confusing because what's the difference between all these different rarities? So having these different rarity tiers for different star levels really helps people identify that when you get a gold star card or a double gold star card that you pull something that is really exceptional and truly rare inside of your booster pack. Now, something that people did not notice, and I definitely noticed, was that on the Gardevoir EX card, the double rare gold card, that it had a very high number. Now, what that pretty much means is that for the upcoming Scarlet and Violet base set, we are looking at upwards of 50 plus secret rare cards inside of the set. Now, that is an exceptionally high amount of secret rare cards. I can't even imagine how challenging it is to collect a set with 50 plus secret rare cards. If you don't know, a secret rare card in the Pokemon English set is usually an extremely challenging pull. You may not pull a single secret rare inside of a booster box which contains 36 booster packs. That's how rare these secret rares are. So to have 50 plus secret rare inside of a set, you're looking at opening upwards of 40, 50 plus booster boxes and still not being able to complete the whole entire set just because of how rare these cards are. Now this is a surprising change for me because I felt the Pokemon card sets from last year such as Silver Tempest, Brilliant Stars, Astral Radiance were all really strong because we had a Trainer Gallery subset. Now I was very excited for Scarlet and Violet because I thought we were going to get another art gallery subset for these upcoming sets, but it looks like the Pokemon company is taking a page out of the Japanese sets where these cards are pretty much all put into the secret rare slots. You are guaranteed a secret rare inside of every single Japanese booster box. And on the Japanese side, it is very common to have a lot of secret rares. And what this ends up happening is making it so that some of the truly most popular secret rare cards, things like the Miriam Full Art card, those cards can be worth upwards of $600, $700, and sometimes even more. The Japanese secret rare cards can get incredibly expensive just because of how difficult and challenging it is to pull some of these cards inside of a booster box. Now with the English side taking on this model, this really scares me because what this means is that for future Pokemon card set, you're gonna have some cards that could potentially reach the same level of value. You're gonna get English cards inside of these secret rare slots that are gonna go for hundreds upon hundreds of dollars 
just because of how rare they are. Evolving Skies is a clear example. With Evolving Skies, there are a lot of secret rares inside of the set, and the most desirable ones are going for hundreds of dollars. Now with the upcoming Scarlet and Violet base set, that we have even more secret rares, and it makes the most popular ones even more challenging to pull, the most in demand, the most popular cards are going to reach exorbitant levels of prices. Having a subset really solved this issue, so seeing these subsets go away and to put all the special illustrations art inside of the secret rare slot is not something that I am in favor of. I think this is going to make the rarity of some of these cards just really outrageous. It is going to make it impossible for people to complete a complete set of all of these cards just because of how incredibly rare secret rare cards in the English sets are. So what are some potential solutions? The first potential solution is that the Pokemon company could make it so that secret rare cards are much easier to pull. And I think they may go in this direction just because every single booster pack in upcoming English sets are going to contain two rares inside of every single booster pack. So what this could mean is that secret rares are going to be more common pulls. How common? I would say inside of a booster box of Pokemon cards, you should get around five to six secret rare cards. I think that would be a good number, which pretty much means you can complete a Pokemon card set in opening up six to 10 booster box. Now you might not get every single card, but that should be a, around a good amount to get pretty much all the cards inside of a set. Is this the most likely scenario? I would say no. I think the Pokemon company is going to make secret rare cards a little bit more challenging. How challenging? On the moderate side, you could pull three or four inside of a booster box. And on the extreme side, they could have a single secret rare inside of every single booster box or keep it at the same level of rarity. This is the worst case scenario where you're looking at opening upwards of 50 to 60 booster box to maybe get a complete set, maybe. So having all these secret rares does leave me a little bit worried for the future. We do not know the exact pull rates for the upcoming Scarlet and Violet set yet, but I am hesitant. I feel like last year's model was so good where there were chase cards inside of every single Pokemon card set. You had the opportunity to pull yourself a Giratina alt art card, a Lugia alt art card, but even if you do not pull those chase cards, the trainer gallery really allowed you to pull in some middle ground cards where you were still happy with getting some lesser pulls. Now with all of these secret rares, it does seem to inflate the rarity and the pools for Pokemon cards a little bit. And I do think with the upcoming Scarlet and Violet set, we are going to definitely see some Pokemon cards at least at the $100 mark. So it's just going to be interesting to see how rare some of these cards truly are. Some of the most challenging cards in these upcoming sets may be extremely difficult to get and can reach exorbitant level of prices. I definitely hope that we do not go to that direction. With the Pokemon company adding two rares inside of every single booster pack, this does give me some level of comfort that they're probably gonna make the secret rares a little bit easier to pull but still, that's a lot of rare cards you're gonna be pulling. So it's gonna be interesting to see where the distribution for all these cards stand, but I'm not excited for 50 plus secret rares. That's not what I want from my Pokemon card set. And perhaps they find the right distribution level for these cards to make it so that they are a challenge to pull, but not so challenging that the cards just are not there. So I definitely wanted to get the word out there on these upcoming Rarity changes, these are things that you are definitely gonna to want to know if you are collecting Scarlet and Violet and the future generations. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are on these upcoming changes. Are you excited for them? Because they are raising prices on booster packs for international Pokemon cards, but at the same time, they're adding an extra rare card inside of every single booster pack. So where does that exactly leave us? Leave a comment and I would love to reply to you. I'll see you guys next time.